Hey guys, got another really exciting video for you today. Today I'm gonna to be checking out 10933 Haber Road in Inglewood. This is a four bedroom, two bath, one half bath, so three bathrooms total. Uh, 2446 square feet with basement space. Tons of parking out here, nice little turnaround. Two car garage, some of the things I wanna point out to you before we go inside, that two car garage there, tons of space in there. You've also got two separate front entryways. You've got two separate exits out back as well. Three-dimensional roof up there. You've got the weather vane all the way up there on top of the attic. Beautiful pavers coming into the walkways to both entrances to the house. The landscaping has been meticulously maintained by its current owners. This house is gorgeous. You are not gonna find another one like this, not at this price point anyway. Double doors for your front, moving in and out is Super easy, then you got the Cape Cod up top. Three bump outs there. Tons of yard space, you're on over an acre of land here. Just tons of space, and this is just the front yard right here. Let's go inside and check this puppy out. All right guys, just came in these big, huge front double doors, and from personal experience, I can tell you these doors are invaluable for moving in and out of a house. Immediately in front of those doors, you're gonna see the stairs going up. Beautiful white and natural wood grain tone. We'll check out the upstairs here in a minute. Off to the left here is your formal living room. Gorgeous fireplace, gorgeous stone, tons of natural light coming in here and tons of space. Let me step back by the windows here so you can see everything in the living room. Tons of space, endless possibilities for setting this up. You've got your sliding glass double doors that lead directly out to the backyard and we'll check that out here in a second with a gorgeous wooden deck. Tons of space in here. Like I said, those windows are in great shape. Coming around off to our right as we circle around the floor plan, natural wood floors. These are gorgeous. Coming into the kitchen, this is a chef's dream right here. Tons of counter space, Thanksgiving, Christmas, formal dinners, having the kids over whatever works for you. Center Island is great, they've plumbed it for the sink so it's not burning up space on the counter on the other side. And then you can see how our circular flow kind of takes you straight back to the front doors, but we're gonna keep going through to the breakfast area here. Tons of space here, gorgeous buildings right there for your books, mementos, what have you. The bay window also looks out to the backyard. Like I said, being on an acre of land is worth its weight in gold out here in Inglewood. City conveniences with country living, you are not going to beat it. Coming around. Directly off the kitchen, you've got your formal dining room, which is really nice to have because a lot of the newer construction houses, they'll have breakfast area that they're calling a dining room. is isn't really a dining room. You've got the chair rail mold halfway up the wall. You can do a two-tone color scheme if you like. Gorgeous view out front. Let's come on back to the back here. I'll show you some of my favorite uh, features of this side of the house here. First off, coming through the kitchen, off to the left, you've got huge laundry room. Tons of space in here, washer and dryer hookups right here on the main level. Such a great convenience over having it in the basement as a lot of older houses do. This door right here leads out to the garage. Tons of storage space right here. Then coming on down the hallway, you've got your second entrance from the front. Tons of storage space in these closets as well. Then you've got your I gotta go bathroom right off that front entrance right there. Just a half bath, but you don't need much more. All right. So that's our main level, guys. Let's head upstairs and we'll check out the bedrooms. All right guys, just hitting the top of the stairs here and we can go left and we can go right. Let's go off to our left first. Directly in front of us is our main guest bath. Double vanity sinks. You've also got a separate room for your commode and your shower, which is super handy. Updated fixtures, updated wrap, updated toilet. Now, this is kind of a wraparound upper level, so as you're coming through off to your right, your first subordinate bedroom, and all even the smaller bedrooms in this house are huge. Coming back out, come into the very back bedroom. Tons of space in this one as well. Double-sized closets. I want to notice that uh, there are fixtures 
and power in the ceilings in every room. There's our bathroom again, coming back down through. Check out our last of the three subordinate bedrooms. Tons of space in here as well, and tons of natural light too. In uh, a lot of the newer construction homes, you don't get a lot of natural light. It's a lot of uh, a lot of small windows. This house definitely does not suffer from that. And then the master, and this master is gigantic. Tons of space in here, tons of natural light flowing in. We've got our master bath here. Nice little bench seat window. There's a stand up shower, updated toilet, updated vanity. Let's check out that walk in closet. Tons of space in there as well. All right, we've got one more big space on the inside of this house to check out before we go check out the outside. Let's go check out that finished basement space. All right guys, making my way past Rocky and Bullwinkle, coming down to the full finished basement down here, and you are gonna love this space down here. Windows have been left open, so you've got plenty of natural light coming in down here, and check out the size of this basement. It's huge down here. All carpeted in, all drywalled in, dry as a bone. This would be perfect for if your son's in a band, let him and his friends come down here. Need another family room? Perfect for that space too. Dad needs a man cave? Perfect for that as well. Tons of space and tons of possibilities down here. This door right here will take you into the unfinished part of the basement, as will that door at the very, very, very end of the room. Um, due to you know privacy, we're not going to take a video of that, but if you would like to see that, give me a call. We can set up a private showing for you for you to check it out. All right, let's go check out that backyard. All right guys, so I've just come out those French doors, or the sliding doors I should say that we saw. Check out this back deck. Tons of space here. You've got the hanging porch swing. And then check out that back yard. Tons of space out here. If you want country living close to the city, you've got it right here. Uh, fire pit out there in the back. Gorgeous, quiet, all brick exterior, low maintenance your updated HVAC unit there again with those three-dimensional shingles all the way around this house has got it all here are your two exit ways you got one from the garage one for the house there and another one with those sliding doors there gorgeous covered patio space great backyard space awesome 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 property you are again you're not gonna find anything like this in this price point in this area all right let's head back inside for some final thoughts all right guys, so this has been 10933 Haber and Englewood. Tons of space, 2400 square foot home, gorgeous and well maintained by the owners. If you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call. If you'd like to take a personal tour, I can be reached for that as well. Thanks so much guys, we'll talk with you soon.